Well hello and welcome to another video from the computer techie and today we're going to be looking at setting up link aggregation on a 3com switch and in this case this is a baseline 2848 uh, plus so yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> before anyone moans I'm using Internet Explorer because Firefox will not allow me to apply link aggregation settings for some reason and I can only assume that it is because of some kind of compatibility thing rather than the switch so Beats Next Explorer works thus I'm using it it's very very rare so let's go over on the left here to uh, link aggregation you then want to go up here to modify and delete tab and then this is kind of what I've already got there if I go to membership and setup I this is where I set the memberships up for um, the port channel stuff so if we go for say 30 to 31 let's put them on number 2 like that and then click apply yes yes I know wow it's good Well, internet store won't even close if I do the close window thing. It has completely messed up my uh, thing here. Just to end the task, I think. Yes, internet store has stopped. Good. Let's try again. Not that one. Right. There we go. Right, now you can see when it doesn't actually decide to do that stupid uh, size thing that we have the second trunk there that we just created. And uh, at the moment it's down because nothing's plugged into the trunk. But if I did go and plug something in, it would say it was up. So, here's the modify and delete. If you, you can see there, trunk 2. You can name them if you like, actually. You can select the ports there. You can enable flow control. Select the speed. And delete it if you need to. And that is literally how you set up link aggregation on the uh, 3COM baseline switches. The interface might be slightly different on the newer ones because this is like copyright 2005 or something. So I'm guessing it's slightly old, but that is the general idea of how this thing works. Um, if you've got any other questions or anything else, then go and stick your comments below. Um, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, then please go and give it a thumbs up. And then, if you thought it sucked, thumbs down it. Um, if there's anything else you'd like me to do on this switch that maybe you're not so, sh so sure about then please go ahead and leave me a comment below and I'll be sure to uh, do a video on how to use things like these cable diagnostics system tools cool oh it's even got spanning tree didn't even know that Spell it through BPDU packets. Right, okay. Anyhow, see you guys in the next video. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, so, yeah.